Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's cooking and review day! Actually, it's just review day. <laughs> a bit of a cooking implement. Uh, we just got this new Presto Little Griddle, and we're going to review it and check it out. Now, you might say, Aaron, why are you reviewing a griddle? Well, the previous griddle I had was cook, kaput, toast. It was a little bit bigger. I don't have a lot of counter space in where I am. And as a consequence, the, the bigger griddle was a problem. Had the carrot, got the Nescafe, all the usual stuff. But my home is a 1940s cool beach bungalow. As a consequence, there's not a lot of space. We like to griddle all the time. What's the solution? Little griddle. Now, uh, full disclosure, I am not sponsored by Presto. I do not uh, know them and they do not know me. So there, there's no association and they're not sponsoring me. But if Presto would like to bring me in as a motivational speaker, that would be great. Speaking of that, please press the subscribe button and the reminder ding below. That way you'll get latest updates from my channel or the latest updates from my channel. So on we go. So immediately when you bring this thing out of the box, you think, geez, how many things could this cook? Well, not a huge amount, but there is enough space to cook eggs or a couple sandwiches. And uh, let me show you that. Let me go grab the bread. I forgot to get the bread here. Alrighty. So, so what's your analysis of the little griddle initially? Well, as you can see, the bottom is aluminum. This is pretty common, even though all these griddles look cast iron. That's the general idea. Just like I'm going to do another review of a large copper top griddle. They're actually all aluminum. Now, whether they're arc spray coated or how it's, how it's exactly done, I'm not sure. But let me tell you, these things work great. Now, the whole concept of the little griddle is that it's little and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So that, that's really good, especially when you're limited on counter space. If you've got this huge kitchen, you, you might stop watching now, but it's pretty entertaining because I'm going to actually fire this up, grill an egg, see how it is, you know, all that usual stuff. So let me get my little plate here and I'll show you what the experience is like. So to be review fair, I'm not gonna say, oh, this is the best thing ever. Uh, the one thing, I wish is that they had put the plug in the side where it actually plugs in the side. That would actually be a lot better because typically counters are longer than they are deeper. So one disadvantage to this guy is that the power plug plugs into the back. Uh, uh, definitely that, that's something that I wish. So if you have a lot of short counter space, this is the perfect design. Do you wish that it plugged into the side? Eh, more often than not, but after I kind of didn't like it for a bit, I'm getting used to it because my power plug is right up here. And I put this griddle down there and we'll tilt the camera down. And hey, voila, check it out. So it comes with a standard polarized plug. One side is bigger than the other. This goes on the right hand side. The big guy goes on the left hand side. That's the American standard. And this has got a... The usual thermostat, crank it up to 400. I found it gets pretty hot, so I'm still experimenting here and trying to figure it out. So this is classic griddle design. It's got this big old lab stabby prong thing that is the thermostat. And you've got the two pluggy deals. This is where the electricity goes in, circulates around the bottom, heats the element up, and voila. So you just simply plug it in, and away you go. I'm going to plug it into my power outlet and I'm going to fire it up and immediately I'll put it to uh, 300 here. You can see the little LED or it's actually not LED, it's a neon bulb glowing. And I'm not going to hold that griddle for too long because I don't want to burn my hand on the camera because that'd be really embarrassing. So one of the aspects about having a griddle is, okay, you've got to use a non-stick spray. Even though my old griddle, it has the, the the spray coating and all that, and I spray the heck out of it with Pam, and, and the eggs are just starting to get torn up, so that's why I finally had to go 
and get a new grid. And I thought, hey, let's, let's, let's go a little bit more compact. Now, as a polar explorer and motivational speaker, or not motiv <laughs> polar explorer, professional traveler and camper, I need a lot of confined stuff. Now, am I going to be able to take a griddle that eats up six, seven, or 800 watts? No, of course not. This is definitely made for home. But do I appreciate things that don't take up a lot of space and are useful in the space you're given? Absolutely. I've sat in my tent for 80 plus days cooking over this tiny stove in this little space, so it doesn't bother me at all. If you've got a big group, I've got another review of a super sized griddle. So if you really need something hardcore, check out that review, it's in the bottom. If you are using the phone, YouTube, just click right here in the little arrow and it'll open the, the, uh, the description and I'll also have a link to Amazon. So I could already see, or well, see, huh, I could feel that the griddle is getting hot. Uh, I personally use Pam. Again, this is made by ConAgra Brands. I am not sponsored by ConAgra, but this is what my mom used, and of course, this is what I used. So we're gonna wait for this griddle to heat up, hopefully, and we are really going to cook an egg on this just to show what it's really like, because we, I do reviews of products. I am always honest about their usage, their value. I did a review on microwave, tripods. What else have I done? All, all sorts of stuff, books. So I only review things I like. The things I don't like, why do you want to watch a product video about me ranting about something? No. You want to see the good and the bad, give you an honest value review. Ooh yeah, starting to warm up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the camera so you're not going to be able to see my beautiful mug, but we're going to see what it's really like to cook an egg on this thing here. Okay. So I'm gonna flip that around, all right. And we will spray the Pam on there. Hopefully that won't get on the camera. One disadvantage to spray stuff is it kind of gets all over the place. So you can see, spray it on there. Also, another thing about this griddle, there's no tray to pull out the junk. It just falls in this space. So, you know, that's a part of the deal. So I will then thusly crack an egg. And we'll just literally see how this goes. I am not, uh, I'm not Wolfgang Puck, so bear with me. All right. And let's hear it sizzle. Okay. Did you hear it sizzle? I hope so. All right, the egg is on its way and let's get a piece of toast here. And we'll see, I didn't put the egg in the most intelligent location because I've got to get my piece of toast. Well, not bread, but uh, or not toast yet because it isn't toasted. So I'll put the piece of bread on there. And the egg is literally well on its way. Now, I like spicy eggs and that's just me personally. So I gotta make sure to get the butter here. Oh yeah. Now, of course my butter's cold, that's annoying. And I've been looking at designing a USB butter heater, but we'll see how that goes. That's a whole other story. Woo boy! It doesn't take very long to warm up. Now this is one of the challenges is that you try and butter the bread. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, now hopefully I don't burn my hands. I'm sure cooking safety people... Oh, check that out! The egg is scooting! Yes! So if you are a couple or a single guy or gal, and you want a little griddle so far, so good. All right, now of course my cooking skills are embarrassing, but that's okay. And I can smell that the egg's already getting hot. So what I do is I always rub a little nonstick on here because this guy is slippery, it's brand new. So what we're gonna do is just slip it under, flip it, boo yeah! Oh, check it out! All right. Now I prefer my eggs pretty lightly cooked. In fact, I'm a fan of steak tartare, which means you put raw egg in there. But you can see we're griddling and cooking, not doing too badly. Let me flip the camera around here. So, so far, so good. Oh, I get my face in here. Of course, I'm putting my face right next to the griddles. Probably not the smartest maneuver, but you can see that it's it's cooking, it's pretty good. My bread's well on its way, so I'm doing it grilled cheese style rather than toasting in a toaster. I just want to give you an idea of what kind of space is there. You could probably get two pieces of toast 
and or two pieces of bread and then two eggs on this thing and that's the max so if you like to eat a much bigger breakfast this is definitely isn't the griddle for you but those with a tight space this is pretty solid okay so let's let's listen to that sizzle again oh yeah okay i think my egg is done Yes, sir, my egg is done. All right, we'll zoom in there, check it out. Let me realign the camera a bit. Okay, there you go. Breakfast is served. I traditionally always shut off the griddle before I remove the food as a safety thing. And I unplug the plug, just so I don't forget that it's on. Ooh, and if I were smart, I would have warmed up my plate, but I get to put my egg on my cold plate. Oh, wait, let's check out this side of the bread. Woo, a little too toasty. That's okay. Slip that on there. Bazow! Yes. And there we have it. The little griddle in action. Live. I didn't actually break the egg yolk. <laughs> Which would have been embarrassing. I've been cooking eggs for... A long long time so let me get down here let me not burn my face so I would say the little griddle for definitely uh, yourself if you're single or if you got a real cramped space or just a couple this guy is a definite winner even a winner for college and I would say oh, where's my forks okay so we will cut into the egg just to show you what it's like Oh yeah, good and yolky there. Oh man, almost missed the cutting. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, this looks like breakfast to me. I do not want to burn my elbow on the griddle because that would be embarrassing. So we'll scoot this out of the way. And that griddle stays amazingly hot for quite a long time. So, bon appetit. Hmm? Mm-hmm. I would say the little griddle, definitely a winner. <laughs> yeah, sorry, eating on the camera here, but this is a winner for me. Uh, it served the purpose. I'll put a link to Amazon below. Check it out. Highly recommend it. So if yours dies, you need some space. This little griddle is definitely a winner. My name is Aaron Linsdale. I am a polar explorer motivational speaker not usually rude that i eat on camera sorry but check out my links below uh yeah <laughs> don't know what else to say about it other than please like and comment on my video subscribe to the channel below click the little arrow to expand the notes to see where to click the link and check out other information about me please support me on patreon venmo and paypal Thank you very much for watching.